Kansas. What a quality win for you guys over Lehigh. Obviously, tough matchups with with them over the last few years. Talk about what this win means for you guys early in the season here. Well, you know, it's uh, we know that Lehigh is going to be you know probably amongst the top teams in the league. So. Um, it's only two games in, so you don't know for sure, you know, how that plays out. It's really um, a 14-game kind of marathon, so you have to be good every night. Um, but, uh, you know, really excited, you know, mostly about how we executed our game plan, how we prepared, and then uh, what we were able to, to do. I felt like we, we uh, executed the things that we had been, you know, working on in practice, and it's always good when that happens. Talk about the play of Sarah Kylie, 12 points, a career high, 12 rebounds. She was really a force inside dealing with Williams and Gratch, who are two of the best interior players in the league. Yeah. Sarah has a tremendous amount of heart, you know, and it, sometimes that's what it's all about, you know, because those guys had size on her and length and maybe even some athleticism. But uh, she had determination and uh, really happy for her because we talked about before the game, this thing will be won and lost in the paint more than likely. And she did a really nice job, on, uh, obviously, on the glass. Talk a little about Ebony Edwards. Not really an offensive threat for you guys traditionally, but now back-to-back -back games with 10 points, and defensively she, had, she did a great job on the guards for Lehigh. Yeah, she did. That's her forte. You know, she takes a lot of pride in putting pressure on the ball up the floor, and, uh, and she got really got layups for us. I mean, any layup you can get is huge in a game um, like this because they're so hard to come by, and it's great for your field goal percentage. You know, Ebony understands what's a good shot for her, and she really works to get those shots, or she's creating shots for somebody else when she's attacking the basket. And she plays, you know, within herself in a lot of ways, and she's our unsung hero. Final question, talk about what this game does for you guys moving forward, not only, um, I, I guess, for the rest of the Patriot League season into Holy Cross and, and beyond. What, what's your key takeaway from this game? Uh, really, we got to focus on preparing for the next game. So all it does really for us is get us to two and zero uh, with twelve to go. You know, trying to trying to get a good seed for the tournament. So we can't be uh, overly uh, you know focused on it. We really have to turn the page when our feet hit the ground in the morning. That's our our phrase with the team. When your feet hit the ground in the morning, you got to focus on the next game, whether you you know won or lost previously. So we're gonna we're gonna focus on that and and enjoy it, but we'll get ready for Holy Cross because that one will be here quickly. And Holy Cross at Holy Cross is always tough, and we'll have to play uh, extremely well to have a chance to win up there.